In the UK alone, over 70,000 people suffer from dementia. That's one in 14 of us. Of these, Alzheimer's is the most common. Tonight, Outlook follows the story of Alzheimer's sufferer, William Blake. How this condition affects him and the impact it's had on his family. When my dad was first diagnosed, um, I wasn't really aware of the situation. Um, it was more that my mum was aware of it because obviously she was with him all the time and he was forgetting her name and, and things like that um, and just, just subtle things. Um, but because we didn't see him all the time, I wasn't really aware of you know, how bad perhaps it was. Um, and then since then, yes, he's had problems remembering certain things, but within the last four months, things have changed quite a lot. Um, up till maybe a month ago, he would always remember my name. For Alzheimer's sufferers, and their relatives, family photographs can take on a new significance. They are not only precious and poignant memories of the past, but can offer an indication of how far memory is fading. I can remember Actually, that chap. Oh, that, mm. that, 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 that can't that really there. remember what her name was. William often confuses others in photographs with himself. That was me when I was young, the gap. Gap, yes. Because um, that's just alongside the, the, the river, um, alongside the existing uh, use. It's upsetting, you know, because he doesn't know who I am any longer. Um, but I have to know that it's the disease that's causing it. It's not him, you know. It's it's not, it's not my dad that's doing it, just to be, to be annoying. He knew he knew me, um, but he didn't know I was his daughter. I don't suppose it's anybody there, really, except possibly your, your mother, actually. Yeah? Me? Yes, oh, sorry. <laughs> yes. You see, you still carry the mark. <laughs> William and Iris's daughter, Janice, has taken the decision to cut her working time to a four-day week, spending Fridays helping care for her father. Just to stand them up so you can see what they are. Friday, I go um, up to my mum and dad's and we do various things. Um, during the summer months, if the weather's nice, then we go out for the day and we go to places um, like perhaps garden centres. Right. Okay. I'll go and get your jacket. This way. This way. This way. Okay. Okay. Wherever we go, even if it's the local shops for half an hour, we need to take Dad with us because we can't leave him at home on his own. Um, because we don't know, you know, he might get have an accident or something might happen. I wanted to find out how Janice's decision to cut her working time had affected her and her husband. It, it's worrying in, in a lot of ways because she works four days a week and then she goes up to her mum and dad's and 
It's, I think it's quite hard work. Um, and it makes makes a long day. She's normally uh, sort of up there fairly early in the morning and she won't get home till sort of later on into the early evening. So yeah, it makes it a long day. It's effectively another day of work. So. Yes. Brown. Oh, brown. <clears throat> it's a strain that we're happy to take because Bill and Iris have been very kind to us throughout our married life. Um, and it's also about you have to look after people and care for them when they get older.